Welcome, Infonomi is a Sony Xperia 5 Mark V and today I will show you how you can boot this device into safe mode. So to get started we're gonna hold our power button, or it looks like power button and volume up. Oh, for goodness sakes I guess it's gonna be easier just to do it through notifications. There we go. And from here once you see your boot options, you want to hold power off. When you do so, it will change into reboot to safe mode. Uh, with a quick message, do you want to reboot into safe mode? And this will disable all third party applications you have installed and they will be restored when you reboot again. And select OK. Uh, just to elaborate on this a little bit further, uh, what it means is any app that you have installed yourself will be temporarily turned off and grayed out. You won't be able to use it in this mode so you can troubleshoot your device from there. So if you have maybe some kind of application that was causing you problems that you have installed, then this application will no longer be able to basically do anything in safe mode. And from there you can safely get rid of it and then reboot the device again to go back to the normal mode. So you can see we have a marking right here at the bottom, safe mode. And there's a couple applications that will not work here, even the ones that come pre-installed with the device. So as you can see, uh, video creator won't work. It's grayed out. You can see it that it's kind of semi-transparent. Then we have some Music Pro, Music, uh, Keep Notes, and WhatsApp that won't work. And any app that actually won't work won't be visible right here. So they are only visible on the home screen. And you can find apps that you want to get rid of in your settings, assuming you want to get rid of something. So you could go into the settings, apps, and then uh, see all 43 apps and they will all be visible in here. Anyway, once you're done with this mode and you want to go back to the normal one, like I mentioned before, find the power button again and this time around all you need to do is select restart, the device will reboot and automatically go back to normal mode. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.